Hey guys, what's going on? It's Rayalo. And Sashimi. And we are here, a little bit sad. It is February 13th, and all of the decorations have gone. It's clear. No more lanterns. No more beautiful festive stuff up. It's just kind of drab and dull again, so. Yeah, that's pretty lame. Let's do it and talk about the weekly reset, though, for this week. We have no Safi. Safi has departed. She's on vacation. He's on vacation again. However, the one that is back and still back from after the festival is Cole. Cole mm -hmm. has hung around. Yeah, go get your layered gear. Yes, Cole has layered gear now. I keep forgetting this. Yeah, I need to go do it. Get some layered gear and as more zenny than your body has room for. Mm. Okay, so for event quests, usually after a festival, there's not too much left over. Uh, first off, we got Underworld Beckons, as you guys know, that's near 100% for Arrowhead Gecko, which is one of the rare endemic lives. Uh, just do the quest and you'll probably run into them in, pro in front of one of the plants. Hunter Blunder is just MRHR, and I think most of these, except for the very last one, the last two, I'm sorry, are MRHR of different flavors, so just farm whichever one you need parts for, maybe, and or just your favorite fights. Unless you're not, unless you're in it for parts, though, you definitely don't want to do these if you're farming HRMR this week, though. So this is very true. Yeah, that's not the best way to do it. So this is HRMR, 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 HRMR. You can multitask a little bit though. If you do need their parts, you can do these. So from here on up is all pretty much stuff you don't really need to worry about too much. Yeah. This, however, we just made a video for this quest is the newest quest that we've gotten. This is the first, well, not the first, but it's one of the one of the best hunt-a-thon quests we've actually had. Mm -hmm. Those of you who have played Monster Hunter in the past uh, are very familiar with these, where we get to just hunt the crap out of monsters. So this one is great for HR and MR, and Capcom has stated on Twitter that it is good for gold crowns. In our video, we do go over our rewards and the sizes that we found while doing this quest. So. Mm -hmm. MR24 or higher to get in, and the reward is 73,440. And you also get like two HR and MR ranks for completing this, and it takes about 20, 30 minutes ish. They have very little HP. Yeah, it's they, they don't last long at all. So that's a much better farm. And this it, one is Armor Spheres, I believe. Yes. And he's a pretty easy fight, so if you need his farts, you can go do him, and he's in the arena, so he goes by really fast. I used to just fight him for fun. And MRHR. Low rank and high rank events. Oof, not really much here either. Nope. So we've got Extreme Auth, so if you're out for the Draken, the layered armor, and his Gamma armor, uh, then there you go. He is back for that. We've got Ancient Leshen here. Uh, this one is really difficult for those who are not in Master Rank armor. Even if you're in Master Rank armor, uh, this guy can be pretty tough. So if you're after the Witcher, uh, high rank gear, the series uh, sword, or the the twin swords, I mean the silver mm -hmm. swords, uh, then that's the quest for you. You'll need to be hunter rank 50 or higher to get in. Poison Posse, I don't think this one had anything special really, just uh, easy Rathian or, I'm sorry, Rathian or Thalos gear for uh, if you're first starting out. Yeah, if you're a low rank armor, look uh, low rank. If you are an armor, then I recommend going <laughs> and protecting somebody. If you are a low rank hunter, though, this is good for gear to start you off. This one's also armor spheres, and since it's two Aragons, if you need their parts, it's a decent farm. Since they share an HP pool, they go down easy. Yep, great for armor spheres. Uh, rock and roll recess. This is just research. If you're needing crowns. any research and crowns too, it is good for those also. Uh, for any of the monsters that are native to the recess that are not elders, uh, which would be in this case Dodo Gamma, Uragon, uh, Lava, Sioth, <laughs> Lava Sioth, <laughs> and Azure Rathalos. Uh, if you need a research or crowns for any of them, this is the quest for you. Uh, HR 13 or higher to get in. Uh, I believe this one's just a gear farm for mm -hmm. either of these. It's sort of hard to get Black Diablos in a quest. So. Yeah, Black Diablos and Diablos are actually pretty dang good armor sets uh, mm -hmm. to get you up to the next rank. Uh, really good depending on what weapon you use. And like a Malt of the Flame, this is just extra tempered or arch tempered. Um, Zenajiva? Baby Safi. Yeah. Yeah, Zenajiva. Don't worry, Zeno. We we know you. We still acknowledge you as the cooler dragon. <laughs> 
Uh, you'll need to be HR 50 or higher to get in. That one is for your Gamma, Xeno, or Layered Armor. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Why does she sound so disappointed always? For challenges, for those of you who are not used to challenges, challenges don't bother eating, don't bother messing with your items or gear. You go in with pre or uh, preordained. Why am I? <laughs> yes. Yeah, your I mean, that works. Preordained gear is just way too extravagant. <laughs> Uh, they choose your gear for you. Those are the weapons uh, in the window there. This one is against Namiel. Uh, Namiel is normally a pretty easy elder to slay. If you ever want to see what Namiel could really be, what I'm hoping Namiel's arch-tempered version is going to be, fight this one. Is he aggressive? This Namiel is highly aggressive, has moves you've probably never seen him use in the normal game before, and he's really, really nasty. So you'll want to beat him in seven minutes for a gold, uh, silver's 13 minutes 50 for a bronze. And this one's like a really dumb savage devil joe. So if you want to actually fight him easily, then you can give this one a shot. He's a, like sad. I don't know what happened. I, I, I always think of this devil joe as if like, if maybe he finally was able to eat enough mm -hmm. that he like ended up in a food coma. Like he's in like that, that, you know, I've eaten too much and I need a nap sort of thing. Yeah, he's pretty lethargic, he's pretty dumb, so even though he's savage, don't let it bother you, he's not that bad. That's why his gold is only 4 minutes, 30 seconds, yep. B is 8 minutes, and C is 50. Yes. There's somewhere below there, don't, don't take that long. Challenge quest in low rank, high rank is really all we've got is this Nergi, who's actually a pretty tough Nergi. Um, he hits yeah. really, really hard, he has very little HP, like next yeah. to none. Just keep the pressure on, you'll be good. Yep, it's aggression versus, versus aggression. So, fight fire with fire. Looks like that's it this week. Pretty slow. Yeah, there's, there's really not much out there. But that's to be expected. Usually they always, uh, usually after a festival we get these low weeks. They're going to give us a little bit of time to chill, maybe try some other games, yeah. play some other stuff. And then they're going to be hitting us in March with Raging Brick. Yeah, Raging Brachidios mm -hmm. and Furious Rajang. So oh, buddy. March is going to be a good month. PC will be catching up with console. Everyone's going to be on equal ground as far as content. And then we're going to start seeing new stuff in April. So I can't wait for that. Outside of that, that's pretty much it, you guys. So if you guys are thinking of taking a hiatus, go take a break. I'd say this is a good time and uh, try some other stuff. Or just chill with the new Huntathon and go get your crowns. Outside of that, if you guys need a video for the crown video, the new Huntathon Yodeling in the Forest, we do have that, and there will be a link. That's yep. what it is. Yep. In the description. Put a link in the description and in the end cards, or whatever they're called. Yep, so, guys, if you are new to the channel, like, subs, all that is up to you. What we do ask for around here is, if, you, if it's within your means, consider adopting or rescuing an animal aspca.org, petfinder.com. You can also Google your local animal rescue and adoption options. If you can't bring one home due to allergies, living conditions, what have you, there's other ways you can show your love. What you got on those? You can also go volunteer and still spend time with the guys, or you can donate old blankets, clothes, they can use all that kind of stuff. Yep, so if you've got love to give, love to show, there's plenty of ways to show it. And unfortunately, there's plenty of animals out there who could use that love. So guys... Get out there and show them some love. Speaking of love, we love you. And remember, buy your fun, not your fam. Adopt, don't shop. Happy hunting, guys. Happy hunting. <laughs>